It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. So, Steve, the, the Mississippi State staff knew where this was going with Pounders and Buckhalter, and instead of allowing it to happen on signing day, uh, they just called a spade a spade so that they could move on and actually be in the mix for some other comparable prospects a week and a half plus out of signing day. Is that right? Yeah, and listen, and, let, and let's give the staff some credit for making the call there too, but let's also give the you know the young guys maybe some credit for being honest about it. You know, I mean, cause there have been some guys that have, quote, decommitted here in recent weeks that it was really, you know, they were encouraged to go find somewhere else to play. I mean, because we've always talked about it's not the kids you sign or it's not the kids that you don't get to get you beat. It's the kids you sign that can't play. Yeah. And if you've got guys after fall evaluation you feel like they aren't going to be able to contribute, everybody's better off by having a pardon of the way. Some of that has happened. And then a couple of these things have been based on, you know, a player's indecision. Let's be honest about that. I mean, you know, but if if you're not convinced, if you've been a commitment, you know, for eight, nine months, and then now two weeks before signing day, you're kind of playing footsies from other schools. Well, you, you kind of get what you deserve in that respect. I mean, I think, you get, again, you give state credit for being a little bit proactive and not just letting it happen to them on signing day. Uh, but, you know, some of that, too, is, you know, they're, they're guys that just like the other guys better. And sometimes it's just better off to go ahead and cut bait now rather than get embarrassed on signing day. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.